Well, tonight we're exposing a dangerous new frontier for fraud, the online job hunt. And right now, plenty of people are job hunting. The, some slick ID thieves are tricking people. Our consumer investigator, Chris Kamura, joins us now with a warning for all workers, especially tech workers. Chris. Hiring hoaxes are exploding. Fake job listings pose real danger. So tonight, we're sharing a San Francisco man's close call with a bogus recruiter. We want to help you spot imposter HR people before they claim to hire you just to steal your identity. If I had signed off on everything, my life would have been ruined. Diego Martinez was vulnerable, right where scammers wanted him. He was hunting for a new job and under pressure to quickly grab what he could. Because what had been happening over the course of the few months before with the layoffs uh, and the shakeups in the tech world. On a job board, he spotted a remote tech role at a company called iSolved. Diego applied, did an interview by text on a messaging website, and then the recruiter said iSolved was hiring him. I was obviously really excited. Diego had shared some personal info on his application. Well, now the recruiter wanted more. His bank account number for direct deposit of his paycheck and a copy of his driver's license. Plus, they told him to buy a phone for iSolved business. Here's the hitch. It was a fake iSolved website and they made it look nearly identical to our own site. Amy Mosher oversees HR and recruiting at the real iSolved. It is an actual company, yes. Diego was dealing with an HR impersonator. Mosher says he's not alone falling for a lookalike. This happens very, very often, um, more often than, than certainly most people realize. 94,000 people reported business and job scams to the Federal Trade Commission last year. The cons cost people $367 million, and it's trending upward. Crooks stole 76% more money in 2022 than 2021. The FTC says scammers target people who want to work from home. That means higher risk for tech workers. So how do you protect yourself? I would say do your homework. Amber Clayton is with the country's big HR association. She and Mosher recommend a few extra steps before you hand over any info to an online recruiter. First, do a Google search for the company name. See if the website the recruiter shared matches the authentic one. If not, beware. Be leery of recruiters who tell you to buy a phone or laptop from them before you start a new job. I would be cautious about purchasing any equipment. It's likely just a ploy to steal money from you. Two more things. Make sure the recruiter's email address matches the real company website. Figure out if they are who they say they are. Never give your sensitive information to anyone who you can't validate their identity. And finally, insist on speaking to the recruiter and future teammates, ideally by video or in person. Diego only interviewed by text. Clayton saw trouble. If they're only doing a text interview and nothing more, I would say that's definitely a red flag for a job scam. I felt embarrassed. So what happened with Diego? Well, he never shared his bank info, thanks to some savvy friends who smelled a rat. They encouraged him to ask the recruiter some questions. He did. Here's what he said first. I just don't want to be scammed. And as soon as I said the word scam, there was radio silence for like two seconds and they hung up the phone. Diego's glad he wised up and shut down the scam. He recommends all job seekers ask recruiters questions and demand answers. Everyone needs to be more aware, no matter how experienced you are looking for jobs. We recommended Diego lock down his credit reports just in case the scammers got any sensitive info from his application and interview. For its part, iSolve says it shut down the lookalike site and is buying up similar web addresses to prevent other imposters. If you spot a scam, tell the Federal Trade Commission, snap this QR code to open an official complaint at reportfraud.ftc.gov. And of course, you can let us know as well. Just like Diego did, snap the QR code on your screen right now to fill out the NBC Bay Area response complaint form online.